So when we're identifying Vesper shapes, we need to make sure we know what types um, of shapes that we're trying to identify. So we have our classic linear, which is named as such because it just forms a line. Trigonal planar, which is named as such because it forms a triangle shape, but there are no lone pairs that are making it um, three-dimensional. And so it just looks like a triangle on a plane. Tetrahedral, and such because of the four outer atoms. Bent, because it looks like linear if it had been bent. And trigonal pyramidal, because it kind of forms that pyramid shape with a triangular base. And so the pyramid goes for pyramidal and the triagonal, trigonal, um, it's because of that triangle base. So I've taken the liberty of um, making the Lewis structures just for the sake of time, because right now we're focusing on the Vesper structures as opposed to making the Lewis structures. So assuming that you have the correct Lewis structures, we are going to look at them to classify the Vesper um, geometry. And so, for carbon dioxide, CO2, there are two, one, two electron regions because um, electron regions are just like the little spaces around the central atom. And um, single and double and triple bonds, they count as one region. So a single bond here would be one, a triple bond would be one, and a double bond is one. Also lone pairs count as one, but we don't have one on carbon dioxide. And so we just have two electron regions, and as I said, no lone pairs. Which means it's going to space out in this nice line, which means it's linear geometry. NO2 minus, we have one, two, three electron regions. That's one single, one double, one lone pair. And again, that one lone pair is going to affect the structure, that spatial arrangement, um, and make it look bent. And therefore, it is bent. Water. We have one, two, three, four electron regions, two sets of lone pairs on that central atom. And so those two lone pairs are also going to make it arrange in such a way that it looks bent. And so this one is also bent. CO3 2 minus has one, two, three electron regions and no lone pairs on the central atom. And so it's going to space out very nicely, evenly, into this more triangular form. But remember, because of those zero lone pairs, it's going to be trigonal planar, because it's just a little triangle on a single plane. NH3, we have one, two, three, four electron regions and one set of lone pairs. And so that lone pair is going to make the spacing change and get that pyramidal shape that we were talking about earlier. And just a little second demonstration of that. That lone pair is going to make everything kind of bend outward. And it's looking kind of like a pyramid. And so it's trigonal, pyramidal. Final example, CH4 has one, two, three, four electron regions and zero lone pairs on that central atom, and so it's going to evenly 
split nicely into tetrahedral named because of those four outer atoms.